Hey guys, my name is Jeff Ross. I'm a photographer, author, and educator based in New York City. And like a lot of you, I don't have a ton of space in my small apartment. For those of you that don't know New York City, uh, real estate is ridiculous. It's, it's expensive. Not many people can afford large studio spaces. And while I've had a, a dedicated large studio space in the past, it's not something that I currently have right now. So I effectively work in smaller studio spaces when necessary, and then I'll rent things out as I uh, can afford to do so for certain projects. So for this specific shoot that I'm producing today, I'm using my small studio space to create portraits like these. Now these specific portraits were taken with a variety of different lighting setups. I'm shooting in a very small studio environment. I'm shooting in about 60 square feet of space, six feet wide, 10 feet deep, and 10 feet high. So it's a very small space. So therefore I have to be very purposeful where my lighting is being positioned. So as an example, if I'm using a large modifier like the Profoto Umbrella Deep White XL, and one stop of diffusion, it has to be purposefully positioned on my subject. If I want to create small, subtle nuances of light on the background, like these images, I have to make sure that that's positioned directly at my subject, turn slightly so that I'm only receiving a little bit of light on the background, a little bit of the fall off of light on that background, but primarily all of that light is hitting my subject. Now I also have to position it just evenly enough so I get a beautiful catch light in the eye, but I have to position that, I have to be very careful where that's being positioned. To do that, I'm using a boom arm in my small studio environment to make that happen. The other thing I want to mention is I purposely picked out my apartment because it had north facing window light, which is beautiful. For those of you that have never used north facing window light, it's a very soft form of light because it's not directly going through my window. So therefore it's very soft. It's not contrasty as I like to say. It creates very soft light on my subject. Now the fall off of light coming from that window is very immediate. It hits my subject and effectively falls to deep dark black. So what I'm going to do is introduce a white V-flap to bring light back into my subject. I'm using a white collapsible uh, V-flap from V-flap world to light my subject from the other side. So it's creating a very soft form of light with a lot of reflection coming back in, creating some beautiful and impactful images like these. So remember this, shooting in small spaces is all about purposefully manipulating every single detail that you can, whether that's the light modifier, whether that's the background. Everything should be positioned in a way that it's purposeful, that you're thinking about the things that you're doing on set because everything that you do impacts something else. And that's kind of the key to working in a small environment. What I figured is I'm going to start producing uh, more video content for this channel on shooting in small spaces, effectively showing you guys how I'm creating beauty editorials, how I'm creating portraits in my small environment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe uh, this specific video, subscribe to the channel. And also, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave those in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day.